Roger. Clear the approach for 6 left, west jet 2760. Air Canada 738 is a little further to 170 knots. Got a 7906 to send 5000, speed 190 knots. Hey guys, welcome back. I promised you a flight sim video and this is the third try of this video. So we're gonna try and get it right this time. Guys, I'm not gonna follow the checklist tonight. We are just going to do an expedited startup and we're gonna see if we can get this Learjet out of here. So let's fire it up, see what we got. Left and right battery are on. Left and right avionics masters are on. Uh, left and right non-essentials should be off. Let's make sure we got some parking brake. We've got some parking brake. Let's throw our beacon light on. Left and right pedo heat are good. A whole bunch of other stuff is good. Let's go back to the checklist just for a second before we give up on it entirely because uh, it's always a good idea. Even if we do a hybridized version, APU master is not on. External power is disconnected. Left and right crew lights are set. Left and right audio panels are set, guys. Left and right rudder pedals are good. Disconnect handle is good. Flight controls are good. Lights test I've already done. I already took the liberty of programming in our route here, guys. Uh, we're gonna head off to Charlie Yankee X-ray uniform, and with any luck, that should be programmed in, which it's not. So we're gonna take two seconds and just activate that. All right, we have an activated flight plan. You guys can't see it down below. I have the Avlosoft electronic flight bag down below. As well, I have the iPad here following along. Uh, this is where we're sitting right now. With any luck, you can see that maybe. Hopefully the cameras are still rolling. I know I have almost nothing for battery left in one of them. Starting engines, cabin door is closed, beacon strobe is already on, parking brake is set, thrust levers at idle, engine start. Let's go guys. With any luck, we can inhibit the master caution and master warn for the moment here guys. Once we get this fired up and on the generator we can start doing some ice. We're gonna do away with the checklist and cheat like hell at the, from this point on. Because this is the third take of this video and I really don't have the time to try and do a fourth. We've got to get this thing in the air. Good start on the left, no problem. Temperature's coming up. Guys, we're good, let's have a look. We are, yep, good light off on the right, we're good. We got 1,345 pounds in each wing tank and two good engines. We are rocking, all right. Let's go back to our flight controls, let's tune this in. We need a little bit more nose up to get rid of this takeoff trim and we are good. Left and right pedo heat are on. We got strobes are on, wing stab, left and right nacelle not required at this point. We can go ahead and fire up the rest of the lighting and we'll put our taxi lights and the no smoking seat belt lights. I've tuned in our secondary nav on our radio. I think we're in good shape here, guys. I think we can, uh, let's do a pushback and uh, get the hell out of here. Do a small pushback. Parking brake is released. You can give it some flaps. And that is enough pushback. Throw a parking brake on. Looking promising. Let's throw the. Uh, Throw the flight director on here now. And we are in good shape, guys. We're dialed in. Uh, definitely not the most professional of checklists. Left and right non-essentials. We can get rid of those. And I think we're in good shape. Alrighty, guys. Let's taxi out. Let's go. Parking brake is off. While we're taxiing out, I'll set up the autopilot and we'll do, uh, we'll set it up for a little bit of a cruise to the London airport. We don't need to do the heading. Set the altitude. 
This is the beauty of uh, being a lone pilot in a jet. You really got to multitask here, guys. Yeah, and that's what happens. You taxi like a drunk. So uh, we'll just slow this down. We'll we'll set up the rest of the autopilot when we get close to the runway. It's a little bit worse once we're videotaping to get this right. We've got a little bit of cold fronts brewing out here as well as a, a lot of winter. It's not exactly the nicest weather. We're going to take off with a crosswind here, guys. So we're going to take off with a bit of a tailwind, but... On runway 1700 remaining. We got 700 meters, guys. Don't do this in your jet. Normally I'd taxi down, but we're not going to today. We are going to fire this up. We're going to go ahead just a little bit and get the auto spoilers to arm. Got the auto spoilers armed. We are good. We can throw on landing lights and let's get the autopilot dialed in a little bit better. Let's shoot for 21,000 feet. Indicated airspeed of, yeah, let's shoot for, let's set it around 250 knots for now. Let's stay a little under the speed limit. So let's go 240. Heading, we want our rejected takeoff and return back. Let's style in the runway heading. We are good guys. We've got no traffic in the area. Let's go. Caution. Short runway. Short runway. And it's going to be grumpy, but we're fine. Lots of room. Yeah, can you tell I've done it off this runway before, guys? Pretty used to that one. It is a little short, but with our fuel loading, we are absolutely fine. So we're going to climb out. The good thing about the Learjet, it is a rocket with wings. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a little loud in here. We're not, we can take it up a notch here because we're going to run into some turbulence. And uh, we're climbing at 6,600 feet a minute and 180 knots. So we're going to shallow that up just a little bit. We're going to turn off and head off on course here, guys. With any luck, we'll be in good shape. We're going to back this down so we don't hurt anything. Don't need quite that much power now. Not trying to win a race here or anything. The good thing about having a flight sim is you can goof around, guys. This is pretty goofy. I normally don't fly like this, but to be honest, I was getting a little frustrated with three takes of the video and nothing worked out right. So we're almost heading off on course here now. I haven't got the course dialed in on the iPad, but you can see we are cruising along. We're going to overshoot our course just a little bit here, but we're going to line right up on it because we want to line up for the two-dar approach. In all honesty, we can back this down. And now we can go like a bat out of hell. Over 10,000 feet, we can go as fast as we want. The Lear is built for wide open or idle. There is very little middle ground with a Learjet. So in all honesty, we could crank it up, but our distance is so short. At 25 miles, we're going to be heading back down here, guys. So far, so good. We can actually throw on, we're dialed in. We can throw on the autopilot. Actually, let's just see where we're at here. Yeah, we can throw on the autopilot and nav. And one thing we didn't have on was the yaw damper. You'll see the autopilot starting to guide us over onto course here. You can see our deviation from course here. We're not that far off. We're in pretty good shape. We can dial up the speed quite a little bit from where we are. Guys, that is about it. This is my Learjet cockpit. Pretty straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed. Really wish I could have done a better job on this video, but uh, I'll try and do another one in the future, guys. Hope you can even hear me. It is a little loud in here. I'm going to cut the video off here. 
I'm going to see if I can land this. I will not have enough camera battery to uh, record the rest, so uh, this is where I leave you guys. Really hope you enjoyed this. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. If you feel so inclined, build a Learjet. It's a lot of fun. Something neat to do. Good luck, guys. See you next video. Air Canada 738, slow further to 170 knots. Slow to 170 knots, Air Canada 738. Got a 79, 06, descend 5,000, speed 0 knots. 190 on the speed, down to 5,000, that's 0906. Roger, better rated descent, please. Thanks. Air Canada 961, descend 3,000. Descend 3,000, Air Canada 961.